What's going on guys? So I am here Saturday the 7th of September at Lunch Square Weekend. Hype Bunny's made its appearance for the first time ever at the show. Last year I was talking about the car, this year it's actually here. Um, so let me show you guys around while we're, uh, while we're here for today. So guys, this is the 10th year that the show is on. Uh, again, first time ever being at the show. And uh, <clears throat> like I said, it's kind of cool. Like I said, last year I was here as part of uh, helping the shoe shoot. Last year I was here helping out the show, but this year I get to actually showcase one of my my cars, the High 20, which is kind of cool. Vancouver every year has a show <clears throat> right in the first week of September. Um, there's obviously a lot of supercars down here in Vancouver, and <clears throat> showcasing those cars uh, in the Vancouver area to those that don't normally get to see it is, is obviously something that's what everybody loves. So um, there's food here, dealership cars, there's a ton of, a ton of content here in terms of luxury and supercar, but make sure you guys uh, watch the vid, give me a like, subscribe, because you know, this is new to me, so we'll keep going. Guys, so just want to show you guys the hypercar that won hypercar of the year. It's a brand new Pinot Farina, it's fully electric, 1700 pounds of torque. This thing is fucking nuts. In addition to the Peter Farina, there's obviously other supercars and hypercars here. So let's check out some of the other cars over here. So we obviously have the McLaren Senna that's wildly popular. It came out last year. There's two here down in the McLaren Plaza as well as down with SR Auto. There's also the Pagani Hawara that's in the McLaren booth. So check it out.
Moments later. Okay. You can join me if you want. I'm yeah, sure. You. So, Cliff, what's your favorite car from SR Auto oh, Group? Oh, we're on video. What's we my, are. What's my favorite what? Car from SR Auto Group of oh. their lineup. By far, it's still going to be the, the P1. Mm -hmm. I think that, to me, at the end of the day, it's still the most classic car, more, most functional car to drive. Obviously, the Koenigsegg and the Pagani are hyper cars that are, well, P1's hyper car too, but they're too. What's the word I want to use? They're too extreme. Too extreme. For me to be able to drive in the streets. So yeah. I'd say P1 first. Second probably would be the F40 just because it's a classic iconic Ferrari. And if there was an SR Hype Bunny, I'd probably go with the Hype Bunny. Cheers. Nice. Got 200K. Okay guys, so there's a luxury supercar auction. I'm thinking about buying a car. Who thinks I'll buy a car here today? Comment below. So yeah, I'm gonna go buy myself a car.